What's up guys, back with a, another Upland update. This is update number five. It's been about two weeks and I wanted to give you a recap of where I stand as far as net worth and such and also recap of how things went with Queens. Um, it's actually really exciting. The last couple of days, a lot of going on with Upland and the more I get into it, the more I enjoy it. So, so first, a few days before the Queens stress test, I was able to level up to director after uh, finding uh, 3,750 upics in San Francisco in a rare chest, that put me over the top. So now I'm a director. And you can see the video on that I, uh, on my uh, YouTube channel if you want to just check that out. I'll put a link here if you, or a, a card here if you want to check that out. But uh, so, yeah, so I'm well over a million now and on my way to uh, be an executive. I submitted my uh, artwork for my uh, custom block uh, uh, Explorer, so looking forward to getting that, and uh, yeah, so anyway, so that's a pretty cool thing, and now let's talk about uh, the recap for Queens, so during the stress test, I bought 10 properties, stress test was Jackson Heights and Woodside, so I bought five in each, okay, taking a little gamble uh, that each, maybe one of these might end up in a collection, you know, they've said there's going to be between 16 and 22 collections, so who knows? It could be in, in that gap, in that uh, pot of collections. If not, then I'll probably sell them or maybe I'll keep them, keep one or two as a, as a, for treasure mapping, that kind of thing. But, um, you know, I also wanted to get a property towards the western side of, uh, of Woodside so that I could set my block explorer up to head into Queens. Or sorry, Long Island City. Right here is Long Island City. Uh, right in here okay and there's some really good properties and if you guys were involved you, I'm sure you saw that these properties were very expensive in this uh, collection so I would pretty much bet that this is going or, or should say neighborhood so I pretty much bet that this is going to be a collection neighborhood so what I did was I positioned my block explorer right here in this property that I purchased on uh, 50, 58th Street okay nice little property so and then I what I did was I just went back and forth between these two properties until I got my block explorer, explorer heading up 37th Avenue because I figured if I was going to go up 37th Avenue if he went straight or revealed a little to the left or a little little north or a little south I would end up somewhere in in Long Island City well what happened was it ended up going right along Northern Boulevard and I was like oh this is awesome because you could see these properties in Northern Boulevard. I was hoping I'd be able to get something in here. But the problem was right around here, right around here, it actually veered to the south. And it ended up that when <laughs> the release happened, my block explorer was somewhere around here and nothing was mintable. So I actually had to send over here and I was able to get a couple of these. Now, if you're interested in Long Island City, there's still some stuff available in here. It's not cheap. I mean, here's one. Uh, this is 73,000 for 103 uh, uh, up squared. So that's uh, that's um, pretty expensive. There's there's n all the cheaper properties in Long Island City are pretty much gone. But if you wanted to go in here with a hundred, you know, a couple hundred upics, you can get yourself probably three properties. Uh, and like I said, I'm pretty pretty sure like here's a smaller one there's thir that's 50 it's a small property it's 35,000 expensive right anyway I got my three in there I'm happy with that and hopefully that'll be part of a collection and actually do I have three I have four in there so what well, yeah so what I try to do is I try to get four in each neighborhood so I could um, use three and then maybe flip one all right that's what I was thinking okay and not not all the neighborhoods I was able to do that some of some I bought more than others, like here, Sunnyside, I actually bought nine, okay, because I think Sunnyside's going to be one too. But what I did was, as soon as I got my Long Island City property, I had scoped out a spot down here called Block uh, Broad Channel, and this is an island between the Rockaway stretch here and the main Queens Island, Howard Beach, right? So basically, if you go in here, there's all properties along Cross Bay Boulevard, right? So what I did was I sent myself down here 
And none of this was minted, so I couldn't get here. Nobody was here yet, right? So I had to like follow a person who was going this way, and he, this, or maybe there was two people, and they were just sucking up like property after property after property. But I was able to snag actually four in here, and I sold one of them. I actually flipped it for like almost six times, six times what I paid for it, which is pretty cool because I think people believe this is going to be a collection. It might be a rare along Cross Bay. I'm hoping that's not the case. I hope the whole island is a collection. Otherwise, if it's not, then these are just probably going to... They'll be worth a little bit because I do have, like, this waterfront here. And then this waterfront... Where is it? Right here. Right? So those are kind of cool. But anyway, so... I After I hit Block Island, this was all sold out. I headed back up north. And I think I went to... Forest Hills, yeah, I went to Forest Hills, and I minted like eight in Forest Hills, I think that's going to be another collection, and then I just basically hopped around here, and tried to get at least four in each of the areas that I wanted, and I was just spending Upix after Upix after Upix, I had to throw in another like $150 cash in, and then I just kind of got carried away, like I bought three in Hollis, run DMCs from Hollis, I figured Hollis might be a collection, you know, I, I think I did pretty well. I ended up with a total of um, 65 properties. I spent about 800000 in Upix, and I flipped five of them for a total of 54000 in profit. So that's not bad. And now I've got a nice bit of uh, blue on the map here. So if I want to get into treasure hunting in Queens, I think Queens is going to be kind of a difficult treasure hunt. First of all, it's a tier two and it's pretty widespread and, and it's got this strange border with with uh, brooklyn so you have to like kind of be cognizant of that but in any event i'm happy with the way things um fell out in queens and actually this morning after watching loyal doyle's um uh live stream if you haven't checked him out on youtube you should i'm a i'm a part of his the, the uh, glenview oakland glenview node uh build up so he mentioned that he's going to do a node in in rego park and because he really liked this uh, the semi-circular area here, which is kind of cool. Now, I wasn't able to get anything in here because only if everything left was FSAs. But I was able to get one right here. And I'm actually building on it right here. I'm building on there. So if you want to throw some spark on there to help me out, please do. 6562 Flitchett Street <laughs> in the Queens. And then I bought a few more. I actually ended up buying 11 in Rego Park. Four up here, three, I think it's 11, hopefully, yeah. Six down here. Oh, wait, no, 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 yeah. Three here. So you got six, seven, and then another four. So, well, yeah, total of 11. So, and if you take a look at Rego Park, it is filling up quick. Really, what's left is FSAs and bigger properties. So if you want to get, take part of... Uh, this node that Loyal, no, no, Loyal Doyle is going to talk about. He said he's going to build it out. He's going to talk about it on his YouTube channel. You might want to get over there and get some now. So in any event, I have a lot of landing spots. And, you know, by the way, if Regal Park ends up being a collection, I'll, I'll be golden. I'll be really happy. So I've got a, landing, a lot of landing spots in Queens. But like I said, you know, as of today, take a look at the treasure hunting in Queens. Um, where the heck is it? Sorry. Queens. Where's Queens? Queens. I think there was, there's 63 players hunting. I mean, come on. It's too many. So I'll wait. Maybe I'll wait till it dies down a little bit. Uh, but uh, for now, I'm going to treasure hunt actually in the Bronx. This is where my, um, my block explorers. I've done pretty well in here. So it's a tier two and there's less people here. So I'm in here treasure hunting. And I, I spent some time yesterday mapping this out. But I'm going to stay close to Queens in case I want to pop over and, and buy something, right? Uh, so anyway, so that's what happened with, with Queens. It was really exciting. And I, I got to tell you, it went off without a hitch. I didn't really have any lags. There was one time I had a refresh. It was very quick. I minted everything I wanted to mint. So that was pretty cool. But let me do a recap of my net worth. So you, know, you can see here in the blue, these are all the properties that I still own from... Uh, from uh, Queens, and I still have some from Detroit. I, I, I do have some for sale that I'm trying to get rid of, which I'll sell eventually. And then these are the four, the five that I sold. You can see this one here from on the block cha broad channel. I was able to flip. I bought it for 44.73, and I flipped it for almost 30k. 
So that was a, a 5X, which is pretty cool. So very happy with uh, the way things are going there. Let's take a look at, um, as I said, my network is over 1.3 mil, 82 properties, nine collections. I got 1.16 in Spark. And all this Spark was earned. I have not purchased any Spark. And I'm actually expecting another, let's see, what was it? Another uh, 1.2 Spark because I get the 0.1, sorry, 0.12. I'll get the 0.1 Spark for my director bonus and then another O2 that I found yesterday in San Francisco. So I'll, I'll have a 0.128, which is, oh, sorry, 1.28, I should say, which is pretty good. And uh, yeah, so just continuing to build up. I'm not planning on buying any Spark. I know people spend money on Spark. I'm trying to, I really don't want to put any more cash in this game. I've put like $850 in the game so far. And I really don't want to go much above that. Right now, I'm at the point where if I sell off what I think I'm going to be able to sell off, I should be able to have uh, a good amount of like 800,000 in Upix for the next release. That's what I learned this one. I was... I was sitting there with a half a million in Upix when Queens released, and that went so quickly. You need 800,000 Upix if you really want to go after it. At least I do. So as far as net worth goes, 1.33. So I'm, uh, my growth is $489 uh, of after investment, which is still pretty damn good. If you count the Spark at uh, $460 per Spark, if you count the value of Spark, my net worth is one. Is 1869 so really my growth is over a thousand dollars invested 800 growth of a south thousand so it's 120 percent which is not bad for uh two months right pretty good so i'm really enjoying the game i think queens was a success i'm i'm very much looking forward to see next week which of these neighborhoods become collections and hopefully that'll help me boost my net my net worth even more maybe get close to two million start to um, sell off what I need to sell off so I can accumulate Upix for the next release it's sort of like the cycle of life right but again I want to have 800,000 at least 800,000 in Upix they're ready to go and now I've got the spark working for me too on uh, if I, I on the Upix uh, exchange I'm leasing I'm renting out my spark so I'm I'm making about 1,100 Upix per day there, which is pretty good, man. That's a lot, right? So you're talking about, you know, over 30,000 Upix a month. Incre you know, adding, you know, basically adding, incrementing in that an account in the uh, on the Upix exchange by by renting out Spark. So hopefully, I can get the two Spark within a month, and that'll be even more. So all in all, really good. Really enjoyed it. If you guys have, let me know how you guys did in Queens. I'd love to hear how you did. And if you have any questions about Queens or any questions about what I talked about in this video, just put them in the comments. And uh, that's about it for now. Hit that like button if you like what you saw. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more Upland content. Guys, have a great day and uh, stay safe out there. Take care.